are here because we're painting a mural on the Evans Bridge going over Santa Fe. Um, this bridge bisects our neighborhood. If you want to access uh, the light rail station or any of the shops along Broadway and you're on the west side, you have to go across this bridge. It's the only way uh, to get there. If you want to access the South Platte River Trail and all the parks on the other side of our neighborhood on the west side, us people on the east side have to go across the bridge. Um, pedestrians, bikes, uh, it's just not very friendly, or wasn't. Hopefully now it will be. We're adding some beautiful colors to it. We could have just commissioned our artist, Michelle Brown, to paint the whole thing for us. Um, we chose not to do that because we wanted people to be able to make their own sense of place. So when you're actually out there painting the bridge, you're going to be creating your sense of place with it, which is why it's paint by number. So it's not uh, something that's being painted by a professional. It's actually being painted by everyone in our neighborhood together. And they get to know each other. They get to create this sense of place with themselves and with each other and that was one of the most important parts of uh, doing this. The design is intended to point out some characteristics of the neighborhood. We wanted it to be whimsical and fun yet show a little bit of the Platte River which is the fish. The Columbine flower is our state flower and that's why we have the Columbine and the fact that people use this bridge for as pedestrians and cyclists. So that's why we've incorporated the humanistic aspects to the mural. I do all the outlining and the drawing of the design and number each section and then the people choose their paint color. It's a big paint by number. We're calling it the longest paint by number in the world. One of the, the coolest things about a project like this is that you know there are hundreds of volunteers who will come out and will be a part of painting this mural. And for me, I bring my kids out here and then every time we drive, we walk or we bike across this bridge, they're looking out the window, they're stopping on their bike and saying this this flower you know this is the one that I painted this is a piece of art that is truly owned by the neighborhood by the community I just want to say thank you to all the people who made this happen there's countless volunteers we couldn't have done it it's paint by number if we don't have all the volunteers who are making the effort to come out here on their Friday Saturday or Sunday to paint little bits of the bridge we wouldn't get it done so